We're flying back home tonight, but we've fallen in love with the place. It's been a successful summer for tourism in Vancouver. On a day like today, there's no better city in Canada. I really enjoy the uh, architecture. I think the high-rise buildings are pretty cool. Destination Vancouver says visitor numbers are now on the rebound, but have not fully recovered from challenging tourism seasons during the pandemic. Tourism this year, visitor economy is not quite at 2019 levels. We're about 10% off of those levels. The U.S. market is almost back. However, the flip side of that is the Chinese market is still going to take time to come back. But overall, very strong performance for Vancouver. We have not recovered fully for international travel, but we're but certainly it's leading the province when it comes to arrivals. Uh, and you know it's a vibrant city. We need hotels. There's some pressure there, and the hotel sector in Vancouver has done very well this summer. And what's attractive to many tourists is the opportunity to arrive by sea. All of like the cruises and that. We're doing a cruise, an Alaskan cruise, and then a bus tour through the Rockies to Calgary. Here at the Port of Vancouver, Destination Vancouver projects just over 9% growth in cruise ship arrivals this year over last. It says by the end of the cruise ship season, 335 ships would have docked here, making this the second consecutive year with record ship arrivals with well over a million passengers expected. Destination Vancouver says in 2022, the city hosted 8.8 .8 million overnight visitors, 80% of 2019 levels. And there have been close to 4.8 million overnight visitors from January to June this year, up more than 40% from the same period in 2022. And visitation is expected to climb to close to 10 million tourists for 2023. I just think the scenery, the opportunities, the food, there's so much to do. The mountains are close by. We went to Capilano. Yeah, Capilano just Bridge. Now. And then we're going tomorrow to Whistler. But according to Ingrid Jarrett with the BC Hotel Association, just because businesses are busy and hotels are full doesn't mean they're more profitable. She says the operating costs and burden of pandemic debt is certainly something they're carrying into this season. In Vancouver, Kate Walker, City News.